Hello everybody and welcome back to For Real. Today we're going to have a look at another cave. It's actually um, combined with a what this time. So it'd be fun times. But I just wanted to um, have a little chat with you before we get started because last time a lot of people were worried about me going into the cave alone. And we did suffer a certain amount of parental backlash, let's say, <laughs> for me going in there. But um, I assure you it's perfectly safe, perfectly fine. Jeremy's always on standby waiting to offer first aid <laughs> and to carry me back down the steps to the car or to the motorbike in this case. So this one's called Phnom Sorcia and Phnom, as you might know, means hill, small hill in Khmer language. And um, it's exactly that. It's a it's, it's a what complex and there's a few structures um, on the top of the hill and then some caves in behind that. There's, I think there's two caves, but um, I think I found the entrance to the second one, but it was way too overgrown and I didn't bother going in there. So um, I've made a little map to show you where it is. It's about 15 kilometers um, towards Kep. So easy distance, about 20 minutes drive. And um, yeah, good good for a couple of hours break if you want to have something um, fun to do from Camp Hot or from Kep, it'd be about the same distance, I think. All right. So let's get stuck in and we'll have a look at Phnom Sosia and its caves. Hey, we've just arrived here at Phnom Sosia. I see steps. <laughs> what does the sign say? 14 kilometers northwest of Kep. The fresh air and beautiful natural scenery make it popular with tourists year round. It's certainly flooded right now. <laughs> the site is composed of three small mountains and features two natural caves. A beautiful stupa was built on the premises in 1964. From the mountain, visitors have a stunning view of rice paddies, the islands and sea below and distant mountains. Sounds good to me. Has it got a um, lift? <laughs> a gondola? A gondola? Yeah, nah. <laughs> you looking forward to this? No. I'm going on the left where it's shady. Let it burn. Oh, there's another set of stairs in there. Look at that. Oh, a rustic set. People that are more interested in adventure steps. What are they building? Oh, they're building something. Building a gondola. Hey! <laughs> a pagoda? A pagoda? A pagoda with a pagola. No, what are the Americans called? A pergola. A pergola? A pergola. Pergola. Wasn't it pergola? Up we go. Loving it. Not built for walking. Oh! <laughs> You haven't seen the ones going up there to the left. <laughs> All right. Oh. Oh, they're going up in both directions. No. <laughs> up here first. Ah, the sound of power tools in the distance. Up we go. Oh, wow, the view's lovely. The beautiful view. Look at that. Wow, it's very um, shady and green up here. Lovely. Oh. All right, here's another flight. Oh, these are much bigger, steeper stairs too. They're never consistent though. Can't get a decent run on. There we go. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Check this out. It's round. <laughs> That's just fabulous. I love it. And these, these aren't just paintings, they're actually in relief. See? Beautiful. Wow. Most definitely worth the effort of coming up the stairs. Buddha's got a very feminine face. I'm not sure where the caves are. Oh, there's one just there, I think. Can you see that? I don't know. I thought being a Saturday we might come across some kind of local tourists here. Visitors from Phnom Penh who are a bit sick of going to Cap or whatever, but no, yeah, there's no one much around. sign there. I don't know whether that means it's supposed to go there. Doesn't look like a path though. Up the other side. That building seems to be locked up. That child sounds like a peacock. Oh there he is. Are you enjoying this, Jeremy? Nice view, yeah. yeah, the view on the other side is lovely. Yeah, lovely oh, there. God, these steps get steep. The oh, yeah. yeah, it's oh. yeah. That view is magic. Lovely. Yeah, yeah, really beautiful. It's not a very big walk at all. No. I think you can keep going that way too. Oh, yeah, really. I saw a path going. Up into the, Around. Into the hills. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely um, the beginnings of a cave here. And there's, I just saw there's bats flying around like crazy in there. Big ones too. So, we'll see. I'll go in there in a minute. Sit down and have some water first. But yeah, none around but us. Way to Elephant Gat. Right. White elephant, supposedly. Okay. I may not get far. We'll see. I hope I don't drop the pocket. Oh my god. Far out! <laughs> so many bats. Oh, the steps are quite well done. And there's... Wow, there's so many. But there's also um, other parts where the light's coming in, so it's it's not too dark, actually. Anyway, I wonder if you can see those bats. Maybe when I get down there. Oh. I think this is the white elephant thing. Some, some kind of mats on the floor so you can sit and meditate. And oh, 
pretty dark, hey? Some elephant statues. Something about 2001 there, I don't know. Look at that. Oh, she gets a bit sketchier down here. Hmm. It's me and the bats, me and the bats. <laughs> what if there's someone in here? Oh my god. That's kind of scarier to me than bats. The fact that somebody could be in here. Okay. It gets a bit dark in the middle, but I'm coming out the other side now. And, oh my god, these rocks are very steep. A bit wet too. <clears throat> Woo! <laughs> that was a huge bird. Heard me coming. Look at that. I just saw an owl. It flew out, landed in the tree out there, and I could see it. So beautiful. It was white mostly, very light coloured. Gorgeous. Anyway, I'm putting off going back because it's not very nice down there. Bit slippery, bit uneven. Anyway, there's a ladder there, but. I'm too much of a chicken to go up there because my hands are all sweaty as well and it's just really slippery looking metal. Anyhow, all right, back down into the abyss. I'll see you when I get to the other side. Wow, so many bats. <laughs> I just disturbed a whole stack of them and they flew past me. Back up into the light. Time to go back down the stairs. Just going over here, just to see if I can see what's down that road. Hmm. Nice little place. Is there a little school here? <laughs> and there's a couple of very strange miniature people here. Look at these. How weird! Look at the size of their hands! The proportions are very, very strange. Poor old schools, haven't been used for a very long time. If you're out this way, definitely worth a look. Come and have a look at Phnom Sosia. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out the links in our description below if you want to see. Um, the rest of our social media and other people that we follow, people that are making content here in Cambodia. All of that stuff is down there. It's all good fun. Um, give it a bit of a look and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.